Hi, in this video I will show you how to create pagination in Meteor. I cre already created a Meteor application and uh, removed the auto publisher in secure packages and then I added the bootstrap package for some styling and in the body I created a simple template with the table with the heading employee name employee email and the handlebar helpers to display the data. Now I'm gonna add this contacts helper. Template that. for the contacts. I'm going to create a collection. I'm going to call it as contacts which is available for both client and server and for the contacts I'm returning all the data available as we are going to create a pagination example we need some data dummy data in this dummy data dot me website i created some dummy data and uploaded my file to this folder and to import data to your collection from an external file we have command called mongo import in the mark here we need to give the host hyphen h means host and the port number is 3001 and the database is the default database name is Meteor and I am going to insert all this data into contacts collection already created contacts collection and the file type which you are going to give is CSV file and the file is dummy file name is dummy data dot CSV which is in my home folder and the fields in dummy data dot CSV we have two columns I'm going to name them as employee name and employee email. Now, I'm press enter. Yeah, I imported 500 objects. Those 500 records are inserted to my collection. Now, as I removed, as I removed auto publish package, I'm gonna publish this data to client. contacts list skip count which takes one variable skip count I'm gonna return contacts dot find I am limiting my records to 20 we have 500 500 records if we send all 500 records to client side the client browser get, uh, gets a bit heavy so we don't want that lying experience for the user so we are sending the records which we are going to display in the client so by default we are displaying 20 records 20 records for the user so i am just sending 20 20 records to the user whenever he wants more records then we will go we are gonna send the request to the, the user I'm gonna skip the the skip count number of records In here the client said by default I'm gonna set skip count as 0 session variable and then I'm gonna subscribe to the 
this publication contacts list here we need to send the skip code session dot get skip by default the skip count is zero so we are limiting the records 20 and we are gonna skip first zero records that means first 20 records will be displayed to us let me show you yeah as you can see first 20 records are displayed and i'm gonna give action to these previous and next buttons events on the click of sorry the click of previous button I'm gonna execute this function on the click of previous button first we are checking if session dot get skip variable is greater than 19 if skip count is greater than 20 we are gonna increase the skip variable skip session variable to we are gonna increase variable plus sorry minus 20 as we are clicking on previous button we are we are coming back to the previous page same if you are on if you click on next button I'm gonna set skip variable to plus 20 as we are clicking on the next yeah that's it let's check that yeah as you can see records are changing yeah that's it thanks for watching like and subscribe for more videos thank you